Yo, what up, my dogs? I hope you guys are doing good. The motherfucker broke the bank again. <laughs> I spent a couple bucks <laughs> on this microphone here. And yeah, you know, I always find, I always try to find deal, but like, bro, even if it's a deal, it's still expensive. Anyway, I bought the Towson Sphere mic. Currently, it's owned by Universal Audio. So what that mic does is like it emulates. Um, he emulates most popular mic so literally i have the 800g emulation in this mic i have the Neumann tlm 103 emulated even the u47 emulated in with this microphone you use the system a little bit crazy i don't really know how it works but i'm gonna find out but what really makes me buy this mic was not only the emulation but the low noise capacity the the self noise of this microphone is less than 7 db which is kind of crazy for a microphone so I'm going to try this out, see if that will solve my <laughs> my noise issue, hopefully it does finally. If that doesn't solve my noise issue, it's still fun, it's definitely a way better mic than what I currently have. So I'm going to make like great use of it for a long while before I think about upgrading a mic again. So yeah, I'm going to unbox this plug it in and make some trial and explain a little bit how it works for whoever buy this mic too and doesn't know how it works so that they can like get used to it so yeah let's go green grass every day cause i pray for that cause i pray for that cause i pray follow me cause god be blessed god be blessed god be you blessed. already know it's gonna be for love we do this shit do it, do it. don't let go for god we pray Yo, so I already got everything set up here. I didn't try the mic yet because I wanted to try it with you guys so that I have like the best first impression ever. So on my laptop, uh, so what, what you have to do is whenever you plug your lap your mic to the audio interface and everything, you have to log into your website and put the serial number and download the plugin. You might you can use it with uh, a UA interface or you can use it with any other brand of interface. So I don't have a UA interface, I'm using it with my audience interface. So all you have to do is you need two channels, right? One for the front capsule of the mic and another channel for the back capsule of the mic. So I just plug them into the interface. I'm gonna try to uh, match the level of the gain and then make my recording and, and, and try and see actually how it performs. So right now I just have to choose my mic. So I just, I created this stereo track on my DAW. Now I'm just choosing the mic I have. In my case is the L22. And then technically it should work. So from here what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn on my preamp and make sure everything everything works good. So turn on the preamp. Luckily for me I have 248 volt. So I'm just gonna put 48 volt here for the front capsule. I'm gonna put the second 48 volt for the second capsule. And yeah, it's coming on here. It's moving, I just don't know why it's blanking. So I'm gonna try to calibrate. I guess I have to do that. Cause currently I have the plugin just on my track, on my stereo track. But on, because I'm on Studio One, I think not only Studio One does that, but I have the option to put a monitor on the track. Like I can monitor what I'm doing. And that would be probably the best thing to do so that I can like set up how I want this sphere to work in stereo, like straight up from the gain. So what I'm gonna do is, is instead of having my my plugin straight up on the track which is not recorded yet, I'm gonna put it on the input. So here. There we go. So now it's working. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna put it back in calibration. And then on calibration, I'm just gonna hit uh, in here. No, I'm gonna hit setup and then I'm gonna go on calibration. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it worked though. 
Should be calling the name like that Asia is South Asia. How you guys say like that? So yeah, the calibration has been done has been done already, so I can swap it off now, I think. I think it worked because when I look at my input, like the level on my audio in, on my DAW, they have the same level as the stereo track. So I'm, I think I'm good. I'm just gonna try to fool around and see how it sounds like. Currently, it doesn't matter what mic I use because I can swap it anyway. Okay, let me try. Yeah. She want me to move for me. I've been going crazy because I want you all night. Baby, got in my name. So let's see how it sounds like. Yeah. Stay with me. Yeah. She want me to move, baby, love me down. I be going crazy cause I want you all night Baby call in my name She want to I I night I be going crazy cause I want you all night Let me money back up Yo this is crazy So so far I think I have no noises Cause technically when I like When with the previous mic already there Let me actually show you With the previous mic listen okay Previous mic See you can already hear the noise Previous mic Now look at this new mic yeah no, no noise yeah no freaking noise this solved the issue yeah so that means i can go crazy on my effect now i can tweak like crazy i will never have to like yo that's sick yeah so it was just a mic thing my issue was just a mic thing yo i'm i'm impressed so now i can go crazy now you know like i can just tweak the mic like so right now i was using the 47k i don't even know what what mic that is I'm just gonna try with the TLM 103. Yeah. Yeah, the TLM 103 sounds way better. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Give me, give me, give me money back. I wanna play like this. Ah. Uh. That's shit crazy. Get back. I wanna play like this. Ah. Uh. Beatstars.com. Yeah. She want me to move, baby, love me down. I be going crazy cause I want you all night Baby call in my name, she want to I I night I be going crazy cause I want you all night Let me run the guy to run in my Russia Intentionally baby my pleasure Yo this is crazy This is crazy I like that I like that I didn't even tweak it I didn't put effect yet I didn't try shit I'm just trying to see how, if I have noises And I don't have noises So I'm not even trying the mic as like An emulation mic yet I'm just trying to see if I already got rid of the of the noise and I actually did good. I got rid of the noise finally guys. Finally. So it wasn't the cable, it wasn't the sound card, it was just the mic. The mic I had was I wouldn't say cheap, it wasn't a cheap mic, it was a four hundred dollars mic. I had the origin, uh the Aston Origin. It's a great mic. Just that it had noises. So yeah, that's crazy. I'm so happy though. At least I got rid of the noise. So now it's just me being creative now. I just have to be creative now. It's just those little things. And I'm not 100% sure I already figured how to properly use the plugin which comes with this mic. But I'm gonna figure it out. But it's crazy that I don't have noises. So, yeah guys. I hope you guys like this video. Like, share, subscribe. Put some comment. And see you on the next video guys. Peace out, home slice. Hallelujah, Jah bless, Jah bless, Jah bless.